Hey, Hart from Smith & Martin again, here for another round of Emulator Pro Tutorials. This week we're going to work with other programs like Tractor and start making our own templates. So let's get started. Alright, so we're going to start off working with Tractor. You're going to want to open Tractor and Emulator Pro. You'll notice they're both open and the way Emulator Pro works, again, is it sits on top of the other program to work with it. So you saw both of them open and this is the button from last time to go in and out of the screen. It's how you're going to work with the other template, with the other program cancel that and go to pro so you can start creating the template here we are on the editor screen we'll go through the editor there's a constructor right here you can see that there's different options we have whole shapes we have rectangle to choose from and circle all you do is click and then click on the area you want to place it and two default sizes will show up you can resize them obviously just by using your mouse or your touch and choose whatever size you want. You have two options. You can either merge or subtract and subtract is actually cutting out holes into the template so you can see through it and merging is bringing back the black area. So subtract, I just subtracted. You can see that uh, in the background that's the program that we are working with Tractor. Just shut off grid from last time. You can see I could literally touch the program because there's a hole cut through it and I can interact with the program behind Emulator Pro right now. You can do whatever. Uh, as I press subtract, both of them subtracted as the default size they were set in, or whatever size I made them. To, to bring it back, if you made a mistake and you want to make it black again, all you do is overlay a larger shape, and all you do is press merge. So that's how you can do that. Now, to actually work with the template properly, to see it, you are going to want to press transparency, so you can see the program you're working with in the background, and click the shape that you want to cut out. So we're going to want to cut out, obviously, the deck A and deck B and the track window so you can see your tracks and your decks. So just shape it to the size you need it to. And again, most of these programs won't work with touchscreen that's why you need to input buttons because aren't designed to be working with touchscreen that's what our program does it turns anything with MIDI into touchscreen enabled programs so your track window so you can finally select your tracks And just click subtract and there you go you you see your full deck you can interact with it and everything uh, so this is the starting of a template before you put any buttons or anything you can actually see everything in the other program and start getting to work next time we'll take a look at creating the actual buttons but if you have any questions make sure you ask below and subscribe and stay tuned for next week thank you